Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk. This is going to be our second attempt at surviving the winter apocalypse. So if you haven't seen the first attempt, spoiler alert, uh, we get exiled for our poor leadership. This time we're going to do much better. I feel like we learned a lot of things that are going to ease our first little bit and make us successful right off the bat. So let's go ahead and jump in. And this is uh, city number two. Tap number two at a new home. I think we're ready this time. It's a very unique game and I didn't completely understand what to expect but now I think I have a better handle on the mechanics. So yep, we're gonna fight the cold. We're gonna keep our coal production up this time. Let's immediately start gathering some resources. Because we know that it's all going to be important. And right away, the most important thing is going to be coal. We're going to need other things too, but... When people aren't working and coal is not actively being added to our stockpile, that's when things get bad. We can go ahead and turn on our generator. And immediately, people are going to need places to live. And so for now, we're out of wood. We know all this. So we could flip on our temperature sensors and we could see what's livable, what's chilly, what's comfortable right now. All these tents are going to be nice and comfortable, so... Hopefully pretty soon these 80 homeless people will have places to live. Obviously we're still going to need some more wood to make some more tents. And we got to start piling this coal in early. The next thing we're going to have to worry about is cooking food. Which we can see we have raw food which is not very nutritious to eat. And it's not very efficient to eat, and then we can cook the food and make it more efficient, and then we need hunters. So tents, hunters, cooks, medics. We should probably put a resource gathering post to hit these two. We could get it on the coal and steel for right now though I think I I think I just want it on the coal. Now we need to connect this with roads. But we don't have enough wood at the moment. We need 13 wood. Let's send these engineers over to collect the wood crates. Just making sure we have everybody put to work. We don't need this steel right now, but I feel like it's a good idea just to keep it going because we are eventually going to need all the steel that we can get. And if we're slowly collecting it early on, that could be better. That being said, we could pull the generator hums with reassuring warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal. Uh, yep, coal and food. Maybe we take a couple of people off of this for now. And we put them over here. And I think when they work at the gathering post, I have to assume that not only is it more efficient, but it keeps them healthier if I assign them to the post instead of directly to the resources. 
workers needed. There's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of adjusting the problem is to, yeah. This is our first chance to go into the Book of Laws again. So let's see, again, we're not going to put our children to work. Instead, we're gonna do child shelters. And we're gonna have to build a child shelter pretty quickly. We learned that the consequence of saying we're gonna do something and then not doing it, surprise. Uh, your people don't like that when you don't meet your promises, but let's build these child shelters. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. And then some people have their complaints about this, obviously, but we're going to turn them either into little engineers or little med medics, so... It's going to behoove us in the long run to not put them to work right now. Okay, we do need to connect this thing with a street. I think we have the wood to do this now. There we go. And I'm thinking that we do the same down here. Oops. Except, again, we're just... We're just low on wood. Maybe I should pull these people off of steel for the time being. And really throw them in the rest back on this and then see how that goes I like where, where our coal is at I, I don't like that these tents maybe we just need to free up some workers oh great it's off time people still don't have tents not exactly great if people don't get into some tents here Oh, they are constructing. That's good. I thought they wouldn't construct these during free time, but I guess they're going to. They started the road. Hoping by tomorrow we can get everybody in it. Finish the rest of our tents. Get another gathering post up for this uh, wood here. We have a little while till our first temperature drop, so we're going to want to make sure that our coal keeps climbing. And climbing and climbing. The most important thing for if we have to put it into overdrive is that we have sufficient coal reserves. Okay, the tents are finishing up. And the number of homeless is going down. We really need to make this. It needs base heating level 2, so we might be able to make this a little bit farther away and still have it be comfortable. We'll see. But we need to get that going next time we have 20 wood. That's going to be our objective. Not a lot for our citizens to do right now during the off time. It almost makes me wish they'd work a little bit later. Uh, we do have our first sick person. We are going to have to build a medical tent pretty expediently here. People are going to start getting sick. That's just what happens when it's freezing cold out. Alright, they're going back to work. That's perfect. It looks like our road is done here. Let's pull everyone off of this and put them in here. The remaining people can go back to work in the pile. 24 an hour as opposed to 14 an hour. So yeah, the workhouses are more efficient. It almost makes me want to just put up another one and put the rest of these people into it. But maybe I need one over here first. Let's do the child shelter. Yeah, it looks good just out here, right? I don't know. It's hard to tell how close it has to be. Let's just put it near the street that already exists and keep it close. And we need a couple workers. 
to, you know, build the buildings we want. So let's free some people up. And we still have some homeless. We do need to take care of that. Let's get that done. And then the next item on the agenda is gonna be the medical post followed by the resource post over here. As soon as we have enough wood. Okay, now we could pass another law because the cooldown is up. So we can make them into medics apprentices or engineers apprentices. Last time I think I went engineers. I think I'm going to have them be medical apprentices. It could be a little gruesome for children, but I feel like it's okay. And with the amount of sick people we're bound to have, it's probably going to help a lot. Children from child shelters will help at the medical facilities, raising their efficiency. Let's do that. Okay, we have 20 wood. Oh, we need 25 wood. Well, that should be in any moment. Yeah, and then we're gonna get this thing built. I think it can be out here, can't it? Sometimes I don't know the limit. I guess we should really investigate that real fast. So, base heating level one, this has to be close. Let's put it there. These guys are pretty slow to build these buildings. I don't know if freeing up more workers is going to be the solution. We really have to get a cookhouse going. There's so, there's so much in the beginning of the game that you feel like you have to do right away. But eventually we'll get past that part. Everything is looking good. Our coal is looking extremely good. If I didn't know any better, I would take some people off of coal and put them onto wood. Maybe once we have the post up over here, we can do that. Let's see, what do we got? Let's take a few. This one's already maxed out. Alright, well. I guess they can build some buildings for now. That's what it looks like they're doing. Alright, let's get the cookhouse up. This probably also is base heating level 1. I feel like we have to be able to put it back here. I hope that keeps it warm enough. Okay, that's perfect. That gets all three of these. I hope that gets built soon. Let's connect it. Oh, we need wood. The perpetual struggle with not having enough wood. Uh, what else? What else can we do? Not really a lot until some of these places get built and we have more resources. I'm probably going to have to pull some people off of coal. And just put them on wood. But am I maxed out? I am maxed out on both these wood piles. Do I have any other wood piles? I do. Your tools. The shift is 
Let's do something like that. All right, we got the street going. That's gonna be good. The shift is ending. So it is free time. And we'll see, uh, nothing, I think that they're working on the buildings th th during free time though. I feel like that's what's going on. It is free time, but these are still being constructed, so. That works for me, we need to. Uh, this is the medical post. Children cared for. Her. The child shelter is ready and the children are safe inside. People can't work, people can work without worrying. Okay, good, good. And then hopefully they'll be able to help out here. Now, now is what we're going to have to free up some labor. We can do something like that. And just get this food going and then we're also going to need a hunter's... A hunter's shack, like immediately, immediately. This hundred food is not going to last us forever. We're doing a lot better on coal, I think, this time. But we'll see. We'll see if that keeps up. Discontent is non-existent, so... What's going to hurt us is when we find out some of the story events later on and our hope takes that big dive that it took. That's what really killed us. And my poor management of our colony, but, you know. Uh, 16 hours for the cooldown on that. We don't have any sick anymore. That's good. In a minute, we'll be able to build a hunter's cottage. Wood crates depleted. Alright, those wood crates are gone. Throw everybody in there. They can get these remaining crates and some of that steel. Now we're cooking our food, so that's good. And we're actually, we need to get the hunter's cottage going right now. I hope they build this one pretty fast. It seems like they are going to do... Uh, other things. We do need a workshop. We need a workshop pretty quickly. I don't know how close this has to be, but... I don't like putting anything too far out. It just feels like... That's a way to make sure that it gets too cold at the worst possible moment. Okay, everything is connected by a road. That's good. What else do we need? We might need another hunter's hut right off the bat. I remember food starting to be an issue as well. We're really just not doing great on wood still. But there's not a lot we can do about that till we can research and get sawmills. I am tempted. I'm gonna go ahead and build this. Right now we don't have the people to staff it, I don't think, but eventually we will. What's this? A note of thanks. We just wanted to thank you. Back in London, it was only the wealthy that, ha that didn't have to send their kids to work. Okay, great. So hope is rising. People are hungry, but I, I hope that they're going to make their way over to the cookhouse. It should be pretty efficient now. I've always gone back and forth on whether we need multiple cookhouses to keep everybody fed or whether one was enough. Still not, like, 100% sure on that. 
I can build more tents, knowing that we're going to need them in the future. Okay, we depleted another round of wood crates. Wood crates go quick. Let's get some of these people over here. We have 10 engineers available. We gotta find something to do with these engineers. Maybe they can hunt. Maybe we can put them in the workshop. Coal pile is depleted. People from our convoy. With basic resources now secured, we're gonna try to rescue the people. We're gonna build a beacon, scout the frostlands, and look for survivors. Okay. Build a workshop, build a beacon. We got the workshop going, so we're a little bit ahead on that. Hunter's hut, let's pile them in. I really feel like, why are these people not eating, you know? Are they just at work and they're hungry? I don't know. But I know the longer they're hungry, the more chance um, they're gonna have of getting sick. We probably need to build some collecting stations out there so that when those coal piles are exhausted, we're not looking around wondering what we're supposed to do. Why are we not building this street? We have the wood, don't we? There we go. That's better. This is depleted. I, oh no, it's not, that's still going. Okay, we'll have to take a look at some of that. We're probably gonna want to get another collection hut out here. Once we have the wood. And I didn't use those as much in the first playthrough, but I have a feeling they're really helpful, especially seeing where our coal is at right now. I'm gonna have to, like, take some people off of coal. Which sounds silly. But then again... Where else am I gonna put them? I could send some people out for these wood crates for now. I think those are our remaining engineers. Oh, we need those guys. We need some of them at least. We're going to plug all five of them in here, and then we're going to do our research. We're going to grab the beacon first so we can do the quest and start finding other colonists. And then we need people for the hunter's shack, so... Taking down some of these folks that are collecting coal... Putting them into the other hunter's shack is probably going to be a good idea. Alright, let's speed up free time a bit. Yeah, see, we still have these people hungry. I feel like if you're not eating during your free time, that's your problem. You know? Alright, let's see what else. I feel like... We just don't have a lot of wood, so we can't do anything. We probably need to get some people out of these wood crates. Maybe this needs to be where our next gathering post goes. But we need them to work for that, so let's get through the night here. And speed up the morning a little bit, get them out to their jobs. Another day, another shift. Well, that's life. Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. Well, right now, guys, the purpose of the struggle is simply to remain alive. We're about to hit a pretty big cold front. Cold is coming. Temperature requirements. throw this puppy into overdrive. Even with that, it's it's too cold. It, 
So overdrive, that's going to keep it. What happens when we turn this off? Oh, it's all chilly. Yeah, okay. Well, we have some cooked supplies, so the really bad thing is when the medical post shut down because of this. That is bad, bad, bad. So the medical post needs to be in the first row. It absolutely has to, I think. Because you need a medical post operating at every moment. Especially during a cold snap. Because that's when people are going to get sick. Okay. And that's going to kind of hurt us, though, as far as like where we can put homes. Because the homes are not going to be livable out there either until we get some upgrades. So now we could research heaters. But obviously we're researching the beacon right now. So I just hope that this, this gets us through. Um, yeah, I hope it. I hope it gets us through. Okay. Well, we could do a couple things. Do that. We can do that. We're out of wood. This gathering post is completed. A coal pile is depleted. Oh, this is depleted, so this is inoperable. We can't even, there's nothing left here. Okay. We could send them out to this one. And then I guess we could break this down, right? Family tore it apart. A woman came forward after we built a workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're out there. So this is part of compelling us to build the beacon and find our missing colonists, which we're already all over that. In three hours, We'll have researched it. Whether or not we'll have the wood at that point, um, I don't know. We probably just need to slow down on coal and slam people into wood. But we have to make sure that somewhere we have people collecting coal. Which... Honestly... Let's have them do it over here in the actual... In the actual gathering house. I think they might be our last two. Collecting coal, which is actually not what I want. Dangers of frostbite. One of our people has become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening. Okay. So we could sustain life, we could do radical treatments. We're going to do radical treatments to allow for amputations and whatnot. Hear me, hear me. It's going to piss some people off. But we'll be saving lives and eventually we'll be able to do prosthetics. Okay, the beacon has been researched. Uh, the very first thing I need to do is to get back in here and we're going to not waste any time. We need to add, we need to get heaters um, or steam hubs. Let's do steam hubs. Let's, let's do it now. And let's build the beacon. I'm assuming this can be anywhere. We're gonna put it way out here. Man, these guys need to be bringing back some more food. This is not operating right now, so... I'm tempted to pull it down. Not pull it down, but... Get these people to work somewhere where they can be productive. And then when we get, a, when we get this heated, or when we get uh, a temperature break here, we'll put them back in it. But for now, I need them to be doing something. 
this is also done, we could we could dismantle this whenever anybody gets around to doing any of these projects. Like we'll probably have to pull some workers out of here to get them to do any of this construction or destruction that we need. By the next time we get a cold front, we'll have the steam hubs, and hopefully that will help us a lot to keep our essential buildings up and running. And eventually we're going to have that second ring of houses, so we're going to need it to do that too. Um, and I think we're going to be okay to keep this in overdrive. We do have to watch it. But I think we're going to be okay. Workday is ended. Speed things up here. The beacon's built. We're no longer lost and blind. We're gonna need five citizens to turn into a scout. That's gonna be a problem too with our workforce. I guess that's why putting the kids to work early in the game is so appealing in, in a certain way because you get a, a ton of labor right off the bat that otherwise you don't have. Okay, so yeah, we can, we'll get into this. We're gonna need scouts. Where they're gonna come from right now, I am not sure. Maybe from our hunters? But we'll have to see. We have a lot of people sick. It was a huge mistake to have this not in the center ring. And we're going to have to fix that. I'm not going to be able to have people getting gravely ill every time we get a cold front. So we're ready to search. We know. Okay, so we, do, we can create a scout team. Let's go right away and find the Lost Expedition. And let's get through the rest of this free time so we can start being productive again and, you know, move past this horrible cold front. Get some of our people feeling better. We have seven sick and three gravely ill, so that the gravely ill is what I'm worried about. We're going to lose those people. And then we're going to have to build the cemetery. Alright, so let's see. Oh, come on guys, let's... Oh, let's turn that off, I guess. That's over. So we'll see if we survive without the temperatures being high. But either way, I really need people to start bringing in some wood. Get to work. Move, there we go. Okay. Well, now we need to figure out... There we go. Yeah, we need to... Let's, let's get on that. And then, of course, we need people to actually be working on it, which it looks like they are. Reactors cooling off. That's good. 